Have you thrown in the towel, given up? Or are you stuck in your comfort zone, afraid to move forward? Let's talk about that. But first, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to touch that bell so that you can be notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want us to talk about stepping out in faith. So I want to ask you this, has God ever called you to step out in faith? To come out of your comfort zone? Has he called you to step out into unfamiliar territories? Where you felt you are not capable of accomplishing what he's called you to do? Stepping out in faith means you trust God fully with whatever comes next. You may not know the step-by-step -step plans, but trust that God will equip you to accomplish his will in your life. What does that mean? And what does it look like? And what word can I use to apply this principle to my life? Let's look at um, Matthew 14, when, G when Peter walked in water. In this chapter, Jesus wanted some time alone to pray. So he sent his disciples. He told them to get in the boat and go before him to the other side. Then there was a storm. A storm came and they were afraid. And then they saw Jesus walking on water and became even more afraid. But this is what verse 27 says. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And then Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. Right here, Peter had faith to walk on water. He stepped out of the comfort of the ship to move on the impossible. But Peter found confidence in doing that because, his, because he was walking towards Jesus and it was Jesus who called him to come. A quote by Neil Donaldson Walsh says, Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So listen, guys, finding out who you are and what you are meant to do sometimes require taking that leap of faith. But before you make that step, make sure it is a step that God is calling you to. So how do you know? How do I know that this is what God wants me to do? You ask him, just like Peter did, before he stepped out of the boat, before he took the leap of faith into the next right step, he asked the Lord. So you can do the same because you want the Lord to be your guide. There are times when we've already taken the leap of faith, stepped out of our comfort zone, and life happens, and we fall. Peter also experienced this when he stepped out. And this is what verse 30 says. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? You decided you were going to step out in faith, to walk on water just like Peter. Everything was going according to plan and life was looking great. But then things happened and you fell just like Peter. But why did Peter fall? Peter fell because he took his eyes off the one who called him. He was focusing more on the, the trials and the tribulations that were around him. The wind that was so boisterous and scary instead of keeping his eyes on Jesus, the one who told him to come. 
Listen, faith is the foundation of where we will go in our lives if we are being directed by Jesus. Water has no foundation, but faith does. And Jesus was Peter's faith, and he took his eyes off that faith. Did you take your eyes off Jesus? But notice that in the script, the scripture says that when Peter fell, he cried out to the Lord and immediately, not later, not two weeks later, but immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. Guys, there is still hope in your distress, in your disappointment, in your feelings of failure. There is still hope. But have you cried out to the Lord? Sometimes stepping out in faith can be terrifying. I've experienced that. I've stepped out in faith because I knew what God was calling me to do. So I went forth in what he required me to do and it was terrifying. But I recognized that we must trust God to lead and guide us. We can't lose faith when things get hard, but when they do, we can turn to the word to affirm what we sense to be a call to step out in faith and keep going forward. Faith is taking the next step. It is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's believing in the unknown, and the unseen looking ahead and not at the present situation. So I want to encourage you right now, get out of your comfort zone, take that leap of faith, but make sure that this is what God is calling you to do. Don't do it in your name. Take that step in the name of Jesus. And I want to encourage you that I've already taken that step but life happened and you fell. I wanna let you know that there is hope. As long as there is faith, there is hope. You can get up, you can start again. You are strong, be confident in what God has called you to do. And don't be afraid to get up and get back on track. Guys, God is a good God and he wants to work miraculously in your life. I am Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Vana for Thoughts.